All right, Python's up and running. I can see the current version that I'm working on. Now, let's take a look at how you can really quickly get up and running and start to write Python code all through the command prompt. Now, once again, I've got my current version there. I was able to find that with the keyword Python hyphen hyphen version. Now, I wanna be able to write some Python code. Well, now I've got my new line there. I'm gonna type in Python. I'm gonna hit my enter key. That's all I've got, just Python. All right, so Python 3.70, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I've got some additional information there. Now, my screen changed a little bit. Let me just draw attention to this. Rather than looking at just the current directory, I am now looking at a Python command prompt. Bracket, 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 or angle, angle, angle. Now here, I can start to write in Python commands. So I'm gonna say something like print. Anytime you wanna be able to output something to the screen through the uh, command prompt, you'll use the print method. Now here, let me say print. I'm gonna open up a parentheses. And inside of quotes, I'm going to output hello world. That's it right there. Print, open parentheses, inside of quotes, it's a string value. And we'll talk some more about strings or text values. I'm just going to output or print out hello world. That's it. I hit my enter key and it's now printed out hello world. Try this out. This is just, just how quickly you can be up and running and starting to write Python code all through your command prompt inside of your OS. So try this out, write out some commands, try the print button a few times, output some text, output some numbers, whatever you wanna to try to do, just get some experience with it, mess around with it. Uh, and then we'll go much, much more in depth into various types of data you can work with and other types of commands that you'll work with inside of Python. But first, try out this simple little one here and output hello world.